Yo, what's up, boys? So, obviously, this week, we've seen a, a trend towards the talk of Save League. Um, we saw Vorboy make a, a, a post on his YouTube talking about how the current set of League of Legends solo queue is terrible. Uh, it is not very fun to play. It is getting worse um, season by season. I completely agree, I, I agree with him wholeheartedly, but the thing is, you know, he's put, a, he's put a hashtag out, hashtag Save League. He's called out Riot. Riot has responded. But nothing. Nothing is going to get done, guys. What is a, a hashtag doesn't do anything, right? Put their post out that they're going to start looking into it. Maybe they're going to they're going to start pulling people from other teams to try and deal with this. It's all PR. Nothing's going to happen. Let's start making things actually happen. I want I want actual tangible solutions like I've got here. Problems, solutions. I mean, some of this might be garbage. Let's go through it. Let's start getting a talk about the actual things we can get done and not start hashtagging and praying that Riot does something. Um, because if we leave this alone, nothing is going to get done, let's be honest. Number one problem, let's kick it off. Ruining games without being punished. I'm talking about ruining games, the behavior in games, not typing. If someone tells me, hey, your mother's fat, I'll just mute them. I don't care. If someone sells all their items and fucking runs down mid, I do care. I can't win the game. It's very, it's way more frustrating than some little 12 year old calling my mom fat. It is what it is. And how do we, sol what's the solution to this problem? I honestly think we need a tribunal. We need more in-depth punishment systems. Look, some type of AI fucking Elon Musk hyper thing that can track down inters in game, it would be great, but I just don't think the technology is there. And it's probably gonna be inaccurate. A tribunal that has footage with timestamps of in-game where um, I can actually, as a tribunal member, I could go through, I could look, okay, 27 minutes, this guy runs down. I'd get 27 mins up, he sells items, runs down. Okay, this guy does this at this stage. And maybe it needs like a majority vote. Maybe five people from a tribunal need to do it and approve that he needs to be punished. Maybe that punishment has to go through to a Riot team. At the end of the day, this is on Riot. They're going to have to invest some type of money if we want to fix the game. And obviously, with the last tribunal, there was a lot of... There wasn't much incentives for people to do the tribunal. Not many people were participating. But at the end of the day, I think if you started this back up, giving more incentives, um, some type of special in-game skin for tribunal, like special members or something, I definitely think it could help. Um, and another solution to this... And this is a solution I think would work very well, is linking accounts. We need a right account to link all of your accounts. If I have, I mean, I have like 20 accounts, man. If I get, I'm a positive summoner, but let's say I get banned on one account, I've got 19 accounts left, I don't care. I get an in-game restriction, I don't care. I'll go to the next account. If they're all linked through a right account, all accounts globally punished, I will care. How do we do this? We're already seeing things like the mobile numbers for Clash to link up accounts. Um, it's going to add so much more severity to this punishments and people are going to be a lot more cautious on their mains, on their smurfs. Overall, it's going to lead to a better experience. Next up, a big problem, toxic culture, toxic communities. There's a lot of streamers, their communities are very cringe. Um, they're acting up on stream, they're acting up out of game. There needs to be more scrutiny from right onto streamers. This shit just trickles down, bro. There's thousands of these community members and I'm probably maybe I'm included as well there needs to be more scrutiny from Riot onto these streamers obviously this probably won't happen streamers are giving free advertisement to League of Legends they're the kingpins they're pushing the game this might not happen it's probably obviously if it's gonna go against their business model they're not gonna do it but I definitely think a lot of streamers and streaming communities are getting away with a lot of shit that is ruining the game and trickling down um, through the, the ranks honestly <clears throat> Next up is the honor system. I don't know anybody that is proud of their honor level. It means nothing. It doesn't deter toxicity at all. Who cares about honor? We need a rework of the system. If not a rework, we need more rewards. We need more in-client progress bars, fireworks, skin codes getting handed out, fucking just that type of stuff because at the moment, no one cares about honor. A player could be flaming me all game, but he could go 20-0. He'll probably end up with three or four honors at the end of the game. Nice one, right? Great honor system. Honorable players are not, the people with high honor levels are not always the most honorable players. And I think the system's broken. Nobody cares about it. Um, we definitely need some type of change to this. Um, and also more warnings. We need more warnings. If, if someone has been inting and getting reports, they need like a warning to come up on their screen. If you are reported one more time, um, you're in big trouble. Maybe like, let's say Tyler1 gets recorded saying, one more int and you're done. Like just something that gives people the knowledge that their account they're on fine lines before the, the punishment. Maybe that's going to help them uh, reform. Maybe that's going to help them play a little bit less edgy in-game. Who knows? Just some ideas. Once again, I'm just throwing ideas out there, guys. If you guys have better ideas, um, which you probably do, let me know in the comments. Honestly, I want to fix this game and make it good for everybody. 
Next up is promo frustrations. I definitely believe this leads to huge increases and spikes in toxicity. Can we take away the mid-tier promos? Let's say silver four to silver one. There's no promos. It's like TFT. You get 100 points, you're upgraded. Then from silver one to gold four, you gotta do the promos. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge to spike up. But I think that taking away those mid-tier promos, it's gonna help toxicity so much. Um, but once again, I, I think the idea of having promos is like that, that gambling addict Andy, where it's like there's dopamine for doing it. It's probably a bad business model. That I doubt they're gonna do it, but they don't do it for TFT. So maybe it is a choice that they wanna go for. Um, I've seen a lot of talk about it. So maybe let's make it happen. Next potential problem we could fix is there's no way to see your MMR versus actual rank. There's silvers playing with golds. There's diamonds playing with challenges. We need to know what's happening with our MMR. We don't need to know exactly what our MMR is, but I was thinking like maybe some type of indicator in your client or in your ranked client that shows, hey, your, your MMR is high for your rank, medium or low. And maybe this could be like, it shows like a fire emblem if your MMR is high, like an ice or something if it's low, just something to show us, hey, your MMR is high, medium or low. People can start to work out kind of what's happening with their rank rather than just be completely in the dark for what's happening. Um, I definitely think that would help. It wouldn't be very hard either to implement. Next up, we see people first timing champions. Dude, I think this could be a really good solution. Some people have told me I'm dumb. Maybe they're right. Minimum mastery to play champions in ranked. Let's say it's mastery, it's like 10K or something. So this is actually going to be great for linking accounts. I think it could work. If you have a Riot account, and let's say like you're a Katarina main, and you want to link you, all your mastery points, you link it to your Riot account, all, and you link all those three accounts, you have a global mastery score. I have 20 accounts, man. So on TF, the max I have is like 100-200k. But if I link them all, I'd have millions. And that's going to help when you link those accounts, those punishments, they're coming around, around globally. It's also going to... Um, deter people from first timing champions in ranked. It's just not gonna happen. If someone's coming into a ranked game and they haven't played like 10 games of it, I don't want them on my team. I'm gonna be honest with you. Obviously as a business like standpoint, Riot Games probably gonna be like, we wanna encourage people first timing champions, picking new skins, yada, yada, yada. But I definitely think this could help incentivize the linking accounts bit and also just keeping those trolls out of solo queue. Another huge problem is boosting and buying accounts. Can we get the Riot Games legal team to just get into those accounts man because there's so many websites selling accounts selling boosting i don't know the legalities technologically how can i get them those those, those websites down but you're a billion dollar company man they're just ripping you off so badly i think we need to take them down it ruins the gaming experience um if you can't buy accounts it means that you know making smurfs is so much harder it means that toxicity on one account and those punishments is more severe we need to make people more scared of getting banned they need to be on their best behavior in game um, another thing that I think is a problem, communication problems lead to angry people. Fact. This is not up for debate. Do we need voice chat? Will it reduce toxicity in game? Some people say yes, others say no. I would love voice chat, man. When, like people, the people, the things I've seen people type to me, they would almost never be able to even speak that out of their mouth without, without like thinking to themselves and becoming self-aware, hey, this is weird. Nobody talks like this person to person. Um, so I don't know, man. I think voice chat would definitely help if we can't get it. Can we get some more in-depth pings? Like need vision here, a dive ping, group here ping. You can gank ping. Um, I know Hashinchan will abuse it, but it is what it is, man. Just a, 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 a little bit more info I can give to my teammates. Obviously, in the lower elos, they probably don't even know what many pings mean. But it's going to help in the medium to high elos. And I mean, having a couple of extra pings on a ping wheel or something, how hard is that to implement? We have like fucking emote wheels and all this other fancy crap. Can we get more pings, please? Now, next problem is a very hard one. It's champ select dodging. If you guys watch my streams in Korea, I would go over an hour for games. The queue time would be three minutes, but I'm waiting an hour for a game because you just get dodge after dodge after dodge. Why do people dodge? Number one, bad team comp. Number two, autofill. Number three, somebody disco nunuing in the lobby. Now, how do we fix this? I've saw that Riot want to do champion select dodging, where you can, sorry, um, reporting, where I can report people in champion select. I think it's great. Um, but they're also looking at increasing the punishments for dodging, which gives more, it gives, it gives more um, power to the trolls. I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do here. I really don't. I think that honestly, if you get reported in champion select, by a lot of people. You need massive restrictions on your account from queuing up. Um, and then obviously the dodging problem, like how do we how do we counteract dodging? Obviously making autofill less often, it's a huge problem. Um, some people have said like in lower, I mean, lower elos don't dodge as often, so I don't think 
as much you can really do there but it's it's really a huge problem in high elos so i think we need to see if there's going to be more punishments um towards dodging and a lot more harsher punishments to the people actually causing the dodges from either trolling and champions like or just being really toxic one massive problem i think is people leaving games people leave games so often either on their own accord or from a dc a lot of the time it's dc unstable internet can we have a pause function in the game a lot of the time some are dcs at the start of the game then they come back just before remake they've missed their jungle clear they've missed top lane they've missed the bot lane 2v2 or something and we lose anyway can we have an option to unanimously as four people if one person's left the game pause the game for a minute a two minute a five minute i don't know just a pause give this person a chance to recoup their internet and come back to finish the game it is so annoying late game 50 minute game bro some guy's internet drops to 30 seconds we lose the game he comes back as the game's closing oh shit sorry guys like man it's a 50 minute game one minute of pause would have saved the entire experience of 50 minutes maybe this can be abused i don't know it's just an option um next up is more reporting options dude we have like the report system is shit like i have no good ways to report people if someone's getting boosted um this is, like there's so many different um specific things in game that i'm reporting people from and like negative attitude or intentionally griefing is not enough and i feel as though i type a paragraph and it's uh, does that someone answer me right now does that typing that i do go to, does anyone actually read that but is their robotic system just fucking thanks for the import bro if i put more words i'll put more weight on it what happens with that man also can we get reporting after the game Sometimes I'll rage leave lobby, I'll just leave lobby, or I'll accidentally leave lobby, or I DC, something happens. And this troll gets away with it. I can't report him. Can we please get away of me to be able to report somebody after the game, after the player lobby? It would help a lot. Um, and lastly, on this point, player mods. It works for RuneScape. Can we trust people to be player mods, to potentially give out punishment, or honestly, in a better way, there'd be a team at Riot, to say Voidboy is a player mod, someone's trolling he messages right games he says hey this player entered this game at this time have a look right games take 24 hours or what you know 48 hours I, I mean i don't care if it's a week they end up looking at it and that player gets punished when they say to a streamer or anybody just report them put a ticket in nice one bro nothing happens it's just so frustrating man i'm not saying player mods need to be like famous people like void boy it could be people that have played the game for a long time that have never had any type of negative punishment stuff like that i don't know how you'd implement it i think it could work obviously you don't want to be giving player mods to people of like you know big i don't, I don't want to give player mods to massive streamers that have huge communities if anybody slights them they're gonna fucking go into right games that's going to be abused i don't want that um but player mods definitely something to look at next up bad internet dc um can we have like a client ping like just a pinging client to tell somebody hey your ping's 200 your sister's watching porn on the, in the other room it's so annoying someone gets in the game oh shit sorry guys family's watching netflix i'm 300 ping can't play dude please check that beforehand there's some type of ping test or some of anything internet related to tell you how your internet's doing on the client before they get in the game it would help a lot 99 percent of people are too lazy to go in a practice tool or check the internet at all it pisses me off um obviously the pause option might help them as well if we have that two two minute 30 pause or whatever they can just chill for a second um tell her sister to knock on the sister's door don't enter and just be like hey i'm playing a game let me finish something like that nextly um nextly next up too easy to stream snipe streamers now i know there's like a big thing like eat kill all streamers eat all streamers i get it but this would definitely help streamers out it wouldn't be that i don't know if it's that hard to do hide names stuff like that at the end of the day if streamers are having more fun playing the game their communities see the game in a more positive light it's going to trickle down help the game out make a more positive experience for everybody when streamers when these big streamers are having more fun and everyone's having the game and not streamers just fucking complaining saying right games this game's shit blah 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 blah, blah. It makes it's just going to have a huge influence on the community overall i know not everybody watches twitch streams but it could definitely help and spread out um at the end of the day so to conclude Maybe there is no solution to fixing the game. Maybe we leave it as it is. Ban Void Boy. Forget about Save League. Just let it burn. Let it get worse year by year. I would prefer it not to be like that, okay? I don't want Void Boy to get banned. I want to keep playing the game. I want to get the game back on track. Now, one thing people have mentioned is Mid Beast. Frustration is the key to Riot Games' business model. People get very frustrated over the game and they want to keep queuing up. They have that one more game Andy where they want to 
I want to finish on a win. I want to finish on a win. The toxicity gets to them. They keep playing. They buy skins. They keep... Maybe that is a really good business model. Because gambling, you lose money and you keep wanting to go. Maybe this toxicity is what they want and they don't want to fix it. It's an idea. I don't think it's true, but it could be an idea. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe there's money or technology problems from Riot Games. They can't implement it. Obviously, the client already is struggling a lot. Like, it is struggling a lot. Um, adding all this type of stuff into the client... Um, it maybe it just completely starts burning to the ground. I don't know. Right games, let us know, please. Um, yeah, lastly, I just want to try and just let this game get better. I think it's possible. I think in five years' time, it's going to be the worst it's ever been. It's going to continue to get bad unless we step in and actually take some action rather than right games saying, we're looking into it. Um, we're going to see what if what team, what, what people are free on this team to see if they can... Let's just put a little bit of money in and fix the fucking game. How about that? So that's it for my video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Some of my ideas are probably trash, all off the top of my head. We all know, you know, my dome, it's not the smartest, but I give my best. I'm passionate about the game. Um, if you guys have better ideas, put it in the comments below. Peace.